everybody, how you doing? Welcome to a very sunny start to my vlog. As you know from the title, this is going to be a very, very special car review. My dad is very generously enough to let me borrow his 2008 Challenger SRT8 for a couple hours. Um, so this would be just a regular basic review about the car, why I like it, a couple of things I don't like about it, but it's a very, very special car. It's very sentimental to me and my family. So let's get a start. So as you see here, we have the regular basic Dodge keyless entry. It does not have remote start. Uh, this was the, this is a first edition from whenever they released it. They released the concept of Barrett Jackson in 2006. And my dad was one of the ones, one of the lucky ones to get the first edition. So we'll go ahead. beautiful and the hemi orange this came equipped with a 6.1 hemi from 2008 until 2011 until they started with the 6.4 liter or 392 hemi comes equipped with a sunroof and it's a 20 inch Alka 4 rims with the four piston Brembo brakes, front and rear. So let's go ahead, unlock it. Comes with the SRT embroidered seats, leather on the outside, suede on the inside, power seats, you got suede. Right here on the door, leather and all the soft touch areas. Push button to ignition, old style gauges based off the 1970 Dodge Challenger. It does come with Sirius XM navigation and all of that. Back seats aren't that bad. I actually sat in the back seat all the way from Lafayette to Dallas, Texas. This is number 3281 out of 6400. So let's go ahead and put the key anywhere. Put your foot on the brake. Nice Mopar Hemi sound. Take it for a test drive. Alright, so now we are sitting in 2008 Challenger SRT8. Okay. Now, inside you have a lot of room. These are very big bolstered seats. Nice leather with the suede, like I said before. Uh, the 2008 did not come with a standard transmission, it only came with a five speed automatic, but that's okay. Uh, big glove box you got a uh, I'm guessing brushed aluminum around here it's not carbon fiber I'm guessing it's like a it's like a brushed aluminum almost with a carbon fiber almost inlay um, so yeah you have the 6.1 Hemi you have 425 horsepower 425 feet pound of torque uh, five speed with a slap shift and it's really fun because my dad came from the era of the original 1970 Challenger and he said the slap, they got the slap shift backwards. Uh, whenever you slap it towards yourself, it was supposed to upshift and whenever you slapped it away, it was supposed to downshift. And I just thought, I just thought that's a really cool fact. 
Um, but inside you have a lot of room. It's really comfortable. Compared to the Camaro and the Mustang, this 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 is the biggest one. This is the big, big heavy one. It has the the most weight, uh, least amount of power. But you have it, it's. I've always seen the Challenger whenever since they came out with this version and all the ones up until all the way to the Hellcat. I've always seen them more as a Grand Tour than they are really a sports car per se. Um, but yeah, it's it's a Grand Tour. I mean, we've I've spent a lot of miles in this. We drove up to Dallas uh, whenever my dad first got it uh, for the SRT experience, and they invited us up there. And driving, I can't remember if it was six or seven hours, and I was in the back seat for majority of the trip, and it was I was comfortable. I could sit in the back. I'll demonstrate that later. Um, but yeah, it's it's a really it's a really fun car. Uh, just just to drive around, we'll do we'll drive around town for a little bit. I'll see if I can't find a little back road uh, can't drive too stupid no burnouts my dad said no burnouts so sorry if you're looking for a burnout go look up a Hellcat video or something but nothing beats that Mopar sound nothing I mean even, even the even the GT350 with it revving up to 80 8250 RPM. I mean, it's just Mopar sound is just insane. So interior-wise, rides really good. Um, as with all the updated uh, Challengers from I think about 2011, 2012, whenever they first, whenever they first came out with the 392, uh, you have the selective ride dampening Bilstein shocks. Uh, this doesn't have it. This is just straight hardcore. Uh, Grand Tour muscle car mixed into one, so it's really really fun. Um, that it just it, it puts a smile on your face every time you drive it, and we don't we don't drive it that often. We've got seven thousand miles on it. It's a two thousand and eight, and we bought it brand new. So I mean, we don't we only drive it for very 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 special occasions, and I mean that's my dad sees this as a. Uh, sees this being a classic one day so we're gonna take care of it we're gonna drive it every now and then make sure the battery's good and uh yeah i mean it's really it's really nice especially in the hemi orange i get we get a lot of compliments whenever we drive it uh you just don't see a lot of hemi orange you have whenever i think in 2009 Dodge started the header orange. They got rid of the Hemi orange and they got and they came back with the header orange. And I guess it's just like a different shade, the way the shade is uh, with the orange, it just, it just doesn't look good in my opinion. The Hemi orange has always been a classic with the, uh, the new Plum Crazy Purple. Uh, those came out for the 2016 Hellcats. And I got my eye on one of them, if, not, if I can't find a green one. Uh, but it's just it's just a really 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 fun car so i'll drop it down and i'll slap it down into first gear and let's see if i can get the revs up a little bit so red line is 6,000 rpm and whenever you're whenever you're in slap shift and you hit red line and uh and you don't and you forget to shift it'll shift automatically for you so you don't just bounce off the rev limiter. But I mean, driving around, driving around town, I mean, it, it is a big car. It is uh, around 43, 4,400 pounds. And I'll, I'll correct that in the video uh, if I'm wrong. But with 20 inch rims, 20 inch alloy rims, I mean, just riding around town. I mean, you feel a couple bumps, but I mean, it's, it, you're comfortable. I mean, I got navigation, I got seat warmers, uh, AC works perfectly. This has the upgraded uh, shaker system. Um, 
but yeah, just riding around town. I mean, I'll just leave an automatic. And shift, shift's good. Shift's smooth. I mean, you can't really... If you want a fun car, but you also want to go on long trips, the Challenger should be on your list. It just... It's just one of those cars. If you need more space, like I said, the Challenger's up there. If you want a fun car, if you're looking at muscle cars, a Mustang Camaro, I mean, they just don't have the space that it, it does. And I mean, you get used to the size. I mean, you have a decently long hood, uh, but I mean, you know, right, right where it drops off, that's where it ends. So, I mean, you could just get used to that and couple of minutes after you drive it uh, this does not have a backup camera and I was really surprised because I was expecting it uh, but it just it doesn't have one but yeah just riding around town you feel a couple bumps to uh, underpass
adventure. So I think that's enough for driving roads. So let's go ahead and get back on the highway. Bring little Miss Daisy back home. Quick acceleration. Outside it sounds wonderful, but inside it's still, that that's what I mean about it's a grand tour car is that it's so refined inside and you have all these all this luxurious around you that you just don't get in the Mustang or the Camaro. Camaro is like a bunker, you can't see anything out of it. And the Mustang, I mean it's the new ones alright. Uh, I've driven a new one with the independent rear suspension and in my opinion I'd rather the solid axle to be fair I mean I know the independent rear suspension is better on the track but not everybody's going to be driving a Mustang on the track it's just not that's just not what they're uh, that's, not, that's not what people are buying them for I mean if people want to buy a track car and they're just gonna go ahead and get the GT 350R if they want a track car. And sure, you could just put the independent rear suspension on that, but I mean, if just the regular GTs, V6s, or the EcoBoost, I mean, that might as well just keep the solid rear axle for those. Guys, I'm headed back to Lafayette, and I've been trying to think of three things that I hate about this Challenger. And Really, there are only three things. It took me forever to think of three things to hate. Number one is the blind spot. The C pillar from the little back window to all the way to the rear window is that that's just you can't see. You, you just cannot see anything in that blind spot. You have to make sure that you triple check every time you have to change lanes. And I mean, it's just. They, they could have made it a little bit skinnier. Number two is the navigation. Back in 2008, it was uh, state of the art, I guess you could say. But now we're in 2016, eight years later. And I mean, it's just a little bit dated. I'm driving around Lafayette. Uh, it doesn't show any of the updated roads that, and all the construction that they did over the past eight years. So that there's gotta be a way to update it. I just haven't figured it out yet. But that's the second reason. That's what, that's the second thing I don't like about this Challenger. And the third thing is the sound. Now, the exhaust system is perfect. I will say that. American Hemi sound. It's too quiet on the inside. This is just my personal preference. Outside, it's loud. Especially when you get up to about 4,000, 5,000 RPM. On the inside, I mean, I can't... I, I hear more road noise than I do exhaust. And I want to hear... You know, if I, if I want to hear it, I got to slap down to almost second gear, and then I can hear it, but just cruising, you know, 65 miles an hour, I'm under 2,000 RPM, so three things I hate, uh, or that I would change, in my honest opinion, if you, th if you can think of any more things that you don't like about the, the first gen 2008 Challenger. Uh, go ahead comment below and uh, I'll try and argue with you about that guys I forgot to charge my GoPro last night so my GoPro died in the middle of filming I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here thank you so much to my dad for letting me borrow his car uh, I'm driving back to Lafayette right now so I had a really great time I drove some really great roads give, give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos to come thank you and have a great day